what is it? Four? Day three? Day four? No, no, no. Day three of this cat tree. I won't hurt myself. Safety. What? I put the wrong staples in. Trying this again. Oh, okay. So I have this cat tree. We've had her for almost five years now and she's ugly, dirty, and quite frankly, falling apart. Plus, my cat Boots, she'd rather play with anything else, like this cardboard box. High five. We got this cat tree when we first adopted Boots and since then it's become a pain point in our apartment. My living space has a ton of color and texture so this tree honestly just doesn't fit the design of the space and I think it's pretty ugly. There are certainly design forward cat trees on the market, but the problem is most of them are expensive, like New York City rent expensive. And I don't wanna simply buy a new cat tree when I have a perfectly solid base at home. Instead of throwing it away, I'm going to upcycle it into the cat tree of my dreams. Oh, and by the way, I'm Mian, and I'm on a mission to create more and waste less. That's the goal. Here are my goals. Make a cat tree that Boots loves. Make a cat tree that I love. Make a cat tree that doesn't break the bank. Step one, I'll gather my tools. Step two, talk to a cat expert so I can make the tree as appealing to Boots as possible. Nope, all right, back to the box. That's the most action this tree has gotten in weeks. This is Marcy. She's a cat behavior specialist. I know what I like visually, but I'm really curious what cats see so I can design the tree with Boots in mind. The main thing that humans see that cats don't is the color red. So when you look through a cat's eyes, they see mostly in shades of blue, green, and yellow. Stay away from those muted colors because that's not gonna offer as much contrast as something blue and yellow, black and white. I can't wait to see it. With this new info in mind, moving on to step three, sourcing some carpet. Hi, I was wondering if you donate or sell your carpet scraps? I never thought that 2020 would be the year that I'm buying like five yards of fabric and running across the street to get carpets, but here we are, okay, bye. So now that I have pretty much everything I need, I'm moving on to step four, designing the tree. Using a lot of the blues and greens, because I know from Marcy that that is what Bootsy will be able to see. But I do want to incorporate some of the pink and the red and the orange too, just because I think it's a fun color. And Marcy said cats don't typically have color preference, but I do want to create contrast so she can see those differences. Palace. Now that I have a rough idea of what I'm working with, step five, tearing apart the old cat tree. Hello, I am all sunscreened up. Got my adventure hat on. Here, I'll do this so you can actually see my face. You know, the plan of action, it's kind of to wing it. All right, that was actually pretty easy. Look, just coming right off. Ah! This is the screwdriver situation. So much time alone with my thoughts up here. You know, this is strenuous, but how lucky I am that my this is my job. Look at all that. Not gonna lie, destroying the cat tree was extremely cathartic. Hey Boots, do you recognize it? Do you know what I'm doing for you? You don't care. I was wondering if you have any insight as to like common reasons why cats will kind of mentally throw away their furniture. So it could be the location that she doesn't like anymore. Maybe the, the fabric has gotten icky and you know needs to be cleaned. It could be that it's just gotten boring. She needs a, a change. Cats really wanna feel something underneath them that is sturdy, that is not going to move, that is not going to collapse under their weight if they're trying to either scratch it or climb on it. So that's one of the reasons why cats go after couches. They can put their weight into it. And that's what cats really want in both a scratching surface and a cat tree. Step six, carpet the exterior. Oof. Tired already. I am an idiot who thought that cutting carpet with paper scissors was going to work. I don't know what I was thinking, but I am using paper scissors to cut this carpet and it's really difficult. Do you have like heavier duty scissors that could like cut through kind of thicker material? There's my boy. Hi, Morgan. Hey, he always has every tool you could possibly need. Thank you. Bye. What a strange time we live in. Let's see. Oh, yes. These are heavy duty, dude. Look at these. Goggles. 
two pairs of goggles. Oh, and next is the electric. Do I have to charge this? Like, I will find out. I'm gonna carpet the side of this first. That's gonna be the side. And this is gonna be the hard part because what I wanna do is cut a shape so I can put a flower inside it. Where's my exacto knife? Okay. This could go so wrong, I'm like afraid to do it. I cut this nice little square and it looks so nice. Let's just do this thing. I kind of like it when things look a little wabi-sabi, a little imperfect. Yeah. That's not cutting through. Like I said before, this tree needs to fit the aesthetic of my apartment. The design is definitely inspired by a lot of home stuff I've been seeing on Instagram lately. It's looking like a flower. I mean, kind of proud. Definitely wabi-sabi, this flower. Let's see. Now I need to make a little circle in the middle. Cute! To be frank, I've not used this before. Definitely gonna suit up. Okay, this is secure, look at that. So one of these has to fit up here. So I initially thought I'd need glue for this project, but I asked my friend Laura, the founder of one of my favorite independent cat furniture companies, Cat House, and she actually recommended I only use staples to avoid exposing boots to any harmful chemicals, which is fine by me because there is something really satisfying about using the staple gun. Okay, guess I'll cut a hole into it. Let's talk about cats and temperature for a second. Cats have a very high, compared to humans, thermoneutral zone. For humans, that thermoneutral zone is between 68 and 72 degrees. Dude, that was easy. Looking bomb. Cats' thermoneutral zone is between about 86 and 100 degrees. And this explains why my cat Oliver likes to sit right in front of my fireplace and I think he's gonna catch on fire and he's totally fine with that. It's getting toasty in here, guys. It is getting toasty. Generally speaking, the loftier or fluffier the fabric that you're using, the warmer it's gonna be because it traps air in those fibers. <sighs> okay. I think all the designs that I thought that I was gonna do might not happen. Like doing multiple colors and doing this by hand is just such a grind. It's flipped. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Cool. Whoa! So that first part actually wasn't that hard. Now I'm gonna move on to the base. I'm going for contrasting colors here based off of what I learned from Marcy. Place all the staple that on. Bootsy's meowing because I locked her in the room. She knows on the dot when it's time to eat. What about us? What about all the things you something? But what about me? Should we watch High School Musical tonight? No. Why not? Colin, why not? The disrespect. You'll be okay. But what about me? Oh, there's just no staples in that. Look at that. So good. I mean, I think it's good. I think it looks great. I feel like I can do more DIY projects now, which in the past, like, oh, that would have just really scared me. I would just not do it. Now, I feel so good about my abilities. Yeah, that did not go in. Ow! Okay, next up are the scratching posts. I'm gonna sisal it up here. Sisal it down here. This is gonna be the main one on the side, which is the one she uses the most, so it's gonna have the most sisal. Gloves, I gotta wear the gloves. Not that these are really gonna protect me that much, but. So Mian, if you have this cat tree that you wanna upcycle, one thing I was thinking about was retaining some of that old fabric because your cat is gonna be familiar with that scent. And you can incorporate that in your new tree and it'll help her feel more familiar. Old cat tree stuff to put underneath so she feels comfortable in her new spot. There's times like these that I really wish I was ambidextrous. You know what's nice about this entire experience? It's hard, physically hard, mentally like a little difficult too. And it's nice to kind of be forced to, to do something that's so present. It's nice. I smell bad. 
But it's okay, because it's my house. Boom, one section for her to sit on. I don't like puzzles. I'm sure there was probably a better way to do it than the way that I did it, but I didn't do that. There's carpet in my water. At this point, I'm getting a little bit of decision fatigue and I'm torn between orange and pink and orange and red for this section. So to avoid making more decisions, I'm going to ask Instagram in a poll. All right, guys, I think, I think it wasn't rolling on the wide that entire time. I'm sorry. And you guys said pink and orange. I guess you might've missed me having like a little meltdown about stuff. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Last but not least, step seven, carpet the interior. I need to really quickly Restaple something. This gun like doesn't tell you when you're out of staples. I wonder how long I was just shooting blanks over here. I am on day five of recarpeting and upcycling this cat tree. That is a long dude. I'm gonna have to have a huge vacuum after this. And ironically, I don't have a real vacuum. I only have a handheld vacuum. Cause I was like, we don't need a vacuum in a New York apartment. We can just sleep. This is gonna be a big one. Whew. My goal here is to create a comfy sleeping area for Boots that is warm and cozy. Oh, shit. Give it to me, up top. No. Okay, you look cute. I noticed when I was building this, taking it apart actually, that it was really wobbly and I'm gonna try and fix that when I'm building it again. This goes on here, a screw goes in. What an angle. Basically, I was missing a screw. And I remember when I found it on the floor like a few years ago, I was like, Colin, what is this screw? And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, eh, must be a random screw. And I threw it away like an idiot. She's like, my method is to ignore you until you go away. A little small, that's all right. So this is the old cat tree fabric that I think still has Bootsy's like scent in it. There we go. So that's the checkerboard without the staples in. I think it looks pretty cute. Okay. I'm gonna carpet inside so that she's kind of in like a little cocoon of carpet. Marcy said that cats have like a higher thermonuclear zone than humans, so they like things to be warm. Thermoneutral zone. It's gonna be very fluffy for her on the bottom, which is her sleeping area, and the sides are gonna be nice and cozy too. Perfect. Okay, so it fits, and this might be like the first time that I've actually cut something that actually fit. That looks good. Getting these scissors from Morgan changed the game. Let's do this thing. Last but not least, a little disco ball that I think I'm gonna put in. Showing Colin. How sick is the inside of her cat house? I have to show the team. Dude, I am obsessed with it. And she's done. Boots! You wanna come see what I did for you? Look, 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 look. She's smelling, she's smelling, she's smelling inside. Now she's walking away. She's just, she's walking away. Are you serious? Come on. Do you like it? Such is the way of the boots. Give us a scratch. Are you going to sleep? At this point, she's just grooming herself. Yeah. The side eye. Ooh, you're kicking a into my eye. In all honesty, I love this tree. It ticks all the boxes. I love it. Boots loves it. And I think it was pretty affordable. $100 on a carpet, but ended up using roughly 25% of it. Three rolls of sisal set me back $29.91. And finally, the extra packs of staples cost $13.64. The grand total was $68.55, which is a far cry from the $500 plus I would have paid for a custom piece. 
Would I do it all again though? Probably not. It was too much work and honestly I hate cleaning. The best part was learning that I could take on a project of this magnitude and actually complete it because I have a lot of ideas but I always have a hard time with execution. And honestly that's worth talking about with my therapist. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!